so today I thought I would talk about uh, taking these UV flashlights into local rock shops and stuff like that and seeing what you can find because I don't have any fluorescent dealers or any minerals that don't come in show form around here and instead what I ended up doing is go to my local rock shops that have all kinds of stuff in there or even like you'll see a couple of different types of shops that have rocks in them and uh, shine my lights on everything like a nerd <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do I'll show you how it goes Okay, what are we talking about here? So going out into the wild frontier with lights used to be a challenge because you had those fan-driven big old tube lamps and whatnot. Now we got down to the size of these things. Like These are the Stemac Engineering um, three different wavelength units, which are pretty handy. Although I got to say though, being a single LED, sometimes, especially the short wave and sometimes the medium wave don't really have a lot of power. So the uh, long wave is going to do just fine. I'm bringing that one in with me. And then I've also got my Ingenious Designs medium wave and short wave that I can bring in and, and shine on stuff. Usually the short wave doesn't show a whole lot again because all the lighting in shops tend to be pretty bright, but sometimes you get something fancy and you can see something you wouldn't normally. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm at uh, Spirit Winds Trading Post, one of my places I like to go to check out stuff. Usually it's more of like a Native American kind of shop full of mystical stuff and things like that, but they also have rocks and apparently bought a collection from somebody a while back. So let's go shine our lights on that. checking it out with medium wave. We have some aragonite for sure. And some calcite down here. Some more what appears to be aragonite. And definitely sandwich calcite. <laughs> Interesting lavender. shortwave light definitely being too too bright in here do you see you can kind of see it on the aragonite when it comes there but in general it's too bright in here good this is all shiny oh hi how's it going real good how about you so i've been waiting to get this thing for 20 years about some blue amber Found some clear glass halide opal. Well, the situation is. Found an enormous kunzite over there. Looks like we got some straw tonight. We found a mystery that's phosphorescent. Might be halide? Well, we're not sure. Some chocolate with some interesting calcite and green. We are back at the Casa now, and this is the spoils of the event. Pretty much, I could have guessed that the appetite here was going to be purple. I had no idea what these shells were going to do. This charo white is impressive because it's got some colors I wouldn't have expected. And then this doesn't look very impressive, but we think it's a salt. We're not sure. So all of these were pretty much found just by waving the lights around. Let's take a look at what we got. Okay, so we got the sandwich calcite, aragonite there, which they thought was calcite. 
They got the appetite. Now these things, I'm not sure what's going on inside these shells. They're from Indonesia, but they have some phosphorescence like nobody's business. And then here's our charoite. It's got that green and red going on in there, which is awesome. And then this is the phosphorescent salt and it has kind of a funny smell. So we're washing our hands with that. But look at that phosphorescence. That's pretty impressive. And then for the appetite and also the sandwich calcite here is the medium wave. Very nice looking appetite, expected response. Charite. And then because of the power of my uh, medium wave here, good phosphorescence on the salt. And short wave, bright green aragonite, some dimmer uh, versions of the appetite. And that's real pale in real life. And then sandwich calcite and salt. So that's what we got from waving our flashlights around in there. Check out that phosphorescence. Whew. Wonder what's in those shells. <laughs> okay, this is Dimitri Dunn, and we're ready to go here, checking out what we can find with the lights. Right. With Elena. So we got some banding in this calcidone and some of the fossils are fluorescing in the fossilized coral. It's also kind of neat when you're looking through these things, like this iolite has some green uh, sort of contamination or yellow up in this one. You can find the, the ones that stand out like that with these lights. This Kirby and calcite here, calcium carbonate most likely just absolutely throughout the whole thing. So this is all long wave by the way, because it's the brightest. This petrified wood's coming in with the yellow, which is cool. You pick out some neat pieces that fluoresce in there. Yeah, uh -huh. Look at the green one. Yeah. yeah, here's another really cool thing. So we're playing around with long wave here, and this one particular pink opal has orange in it. Oops, let me get the light right. And then this one back here is green. The one up top has white speckles. So it's just really diverse, the kind of stuff that's contaminating all these things. You can find one that really is super pretty. Yeah, we went off and on, Elena. So all that stuff just started glowing, whatever impurities are in that uh, yellow jasper. Super neat. So Lena just found some phosphorescent honey calcite. Bam! Bam. Not all of them are doing it, so benefit to having the lights. That's awesome. Heck yeah. And the chrysocolla with quartz looks like we got some calcite mixed in there. This one looks a lot more like the one. And some of them. What are we going for? Florides. I'll just go. Oh, them. brilliant. Those are Ocarusos in the middle. I know in the back that's mm -hmm. Illinois. Ooh. Ocarusos are really nice. They're not necessarily always going to be fluorescent, but they got nice luster on them. There we enormous go. rubies and that huge mobilized wood <laughs> so cool so now i got to see this super cool calcite and this is from elmwood on matrix so midwave here it's very very what do you say fuchsia purple, purple. Fuchsia? yeah super cool Electric light. here we have some fluoride from the purple rain pop pocket and alina's found something so long wave, eh, it's all right. But look at your mid wave. Ooh, very purple. Yeah, that's that, awesome. More of that electric lavender. All right, what do we get here from Dimitri Don Studios? Again, this place has got a lot of cool specimens in the back, but there weren't a lot of surprises there because they tend to know what they have. And so the tumbles are fun because the impurities are almost the coolest part about a lot of these stents. So I got a piece of pink opal here and also another piece of pink opal here displaying two absolutely different colors. We have some, what they call rainbow uh, moonstone, but I don't, I mean, rainbows aside, it is interesting as a sort of blue color. We have some fossilized coral, some, I think it's chalcedony that is banded. We have uh, honey calcite, which ended up being phosphorescent. And then we have some chrysocolla in quartz, but there's some, some um, calcite mixed in there too, must be. So let's take a look at what we found. All right, here is the long wave. And of course, the cool thing about these is that the pink opal on the side there, one's orange and one's green. I mean, I would expect common opal to be green. Orange is a mystery, that's kind of fun. You can see the fossil on the bottom here with it's just like little fossily pieces coming out. 
the uh, rainbow moonstone here being blue. And then the banded calcite is cool because it's got this really neato banding pattern that you wouldn't have seen if you didn't have the, the light. So it's really like more like an agate. And then, of course, the honey calcite. Look at that guy. So now we'll do it next in the medium wave because we want that quartz to pop out or the calcite to pop out. That's a fun one, right? So now we got the calcite or the uh, chrysocolla and quartz with that calcite in there and displaying still the two different colors. Pretty neat, huh? So you wouldn't be able to find this stuff if you didn't have these flashlights as you're going through because they all display different characteristics as you can see from the video. That's finally a short wave. A good reason to take your flashlights with you to the rock shop.